Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Enigmatica 2 Expert. So last episode we went ahead and we pushed into a bit of tech, got up to our machine frames from RF Tools. Of course all working towards getting up to Flux Networks. So today we're going to go ahead and continue this push. Uh, we've got still a little bit to go, but it's not too bad. Um, I think the next order of business... Um, um, let's go ahead and push for the Empower first, I think. So we're going to need to get ourselves basically five display stands. Uh, this is crafted standard. Blocks of quartz and chiseled quartz. Um, and I'm going to need, what, 15 of each. And let's go ahead, let's get our quartz slabs and get our chiseled quartz. All right, so there is that. Uh, let me go ahead and pop back over. And we'll get this ran. Um, grab my button real quick. And we'll just put that there. And let me move the thermionic fabricator for right now. So if I put... Does this get the exploding effect? It does. There we go. Okay. So that stuff's done. We've got our 15 aesthetic grain and our 15 aesthetic quartz um, and then we're going to need to get ourselves five and then I need one there and one there and it's just one single okay so I'm going to have to get seven of these advanced coils and I'm going to need some more seed oil for this so let me go ahead and grab our wireless charger our wireless energy crystal. I'm going to go ahead and just set this up like right there. Go ahead and bind it over and then I'm going to bind it to that and that. And it can have up to 16 links. So that's going to start running making a seed oil and uh, let me just go ahead and run this over for right now. We'll be automating all of this stuff before too long, but I want to get the wireless power up and going first. So, all right. Um, and then I'm also going to need just a bunch of aluminum wire, and I need to go ahead and make a fair amount of Inori crystals. Or actually, we've got five left over steel, so that'll be all right for right now. Okay, so let's see. We've got 14 more sticks. Should be fine. There's our seven basic coils. And then I also need the gold cable. Okay, so there's our seven advanced coils. And I need to scan these also. Just so we won't have to make them anymore. I'd rather just go ahead and get those scanned. Um, so back to the empower. Let's go ahead get our display stands. So there's five of those. And I'm going to go ahead and set these up uh, for right now. We'll just go here, come over, come over, there, there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just bind this to each of those so it can start giving those power. And then we're going to need Bristonia Crystal, which is just redstone. We're going to need two iron casings, which I can replicate. And then we're going to need double battery, uh, which is a single battery, and uh, some redstonia. And then those extra advanced coils, which we can now replicate. I should have just made one of them, but this is fine. And I will need some more Inori at this point. And I'm going to go ahead and get a bit of Bristonia and a bit of Inori also. Or, well, a block of Inori. Might make some more here in a minute, but. There we go, there's that. Go ahead and convert this. Convert that. And it only takes six millibuckets uh, to replicate these advanced coils, so that's kind of nice. Um, let's go ahead then. Oops, single battery. There's that. I need more Inori. It's five each. 
And we got a quest complete, so I'm glad I tapped out for that. Alright. Double battery. And then the empower. Quest complete. And if we go over to actually additions, oh, and it's going to give us all these because we found these from exploration and stuff, so. There's a loot chest, a loot chest, loot chest, loot chest. I have spice. Yeah, I got spice. All right. And loot and loot and lots of these. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and put our empower right there. And let's see what all we got. We got ultimate stew. Uh -huh. um, is this used to craft? Yeah, it's used to craft uh, Infinity Catalysts. It also makes a ton of power. Well, not really. Actually, not even that great, to be honest. It makes a little bit of power in the uh, Culinary Generator. And to craft it, it's not actually that bad. Uh, once our farms are up and going, it's not going to be that bad. Um, aside, of course, aside from the Neutronium. So, uh, And then we got a Resonator. We got a flux and fuse shield. We got lava wood. A full stack of that. Um, Kalina jar. Fire meal. Vision chips. Sacred oak sapling. And uh, phantom face. Four of them. That's actually not bad rewards, to be perfectly honest. We got some pretty good things. Ten fire meals. That's pretty awesome. The lava wood. I think we use this for a few things. Judging by the recipe, I'm assuming that we probably use a bit of firewood somewhere. Or maybe not. But anyways, we got a stack of that, so. But then the phantom faces are kind of nice. The resonator, I can't remember if we have extras, but the cow in a jar I'll definitely use. The ultimate stew is not a bad, not a bad grab either. Okay, so we got the empower. Awesome. Now what we're going to do, um, now that we've got that, the next thing I want to do is I want to turn our attention over to mechanism. Um, and I want to get some refined obsidian. So, Metallurgic Infuser with uh, Diamond and Compressed Diamond. Did we ever get an Enrichment Chamber? I need to check. Because if we didn't, I want to go ahead and get one because we're going to need it today anyways. So, we might as well. And I'm actually going to go ahead and grab our Metallurgic Infuser, our Compressor. And if we happen to have an Enrichment Chamber, I want to go ahead and grab that also. Um, because we are going to need this stuff today. Now, it doesn't look like we've made an enrichment chamber, so I'm going to go ahead and whip one of these up real quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our enrichment chamber. I just want one of them. And then, that is going to complete a quest for us. What all else is in here? Triple, quadruple, quint quintuple. Phantom faces. Okay. Anyways, back over to mechanism. Oh, and that unlocks all of this quest line. So we got the Enrichment Chamber, the Pulverized Obsidian, the Refined Obsidian, the Osmium Compressor, and the Refined Obsidian Ingot. Oh, we must, we've must we gotten these before, I think. We've just never made the push into the rest of the stuff. All right, so there's an Advanced Solar Generator, a Robust Twilight Oak Sapling, a Chemical Thrower, a Block of Electrum, and Angel Block. Yeah, not bad. Go ahead and just dump that into there. Alright, and at this point, what we're going to push for, um, let's go ahead and set up our metallurgic infuser and all this stuff real quick. Uh, we'll just put them over here for the time being. And we'll go ahead and just bind them over. Alright. This room's a bit of a mess, but <laughs> it's all for a purpose. Um, just to make our lives a whole lot easier. Alright, so now that we've got that out of the way, the next thing we need to do is turn our attention towards the Quantum Entangler Porter. Um, I'm going to need one of these to make our Dimensional Transceiver that we're going to need. This is kind of where we're aimed at first, is just getting the Quantum Entangler Porter part out of the way. Because this is actually pretty, not too bad. Um, the Matter Beamer, this is pretty cheap. This is what we need the RF Tools machine frame for. Uh, let me go ahead and knock this out real quick. Okay, so there's the Matter Beamer. 
so there's that. Is there not a quest for the Matter Beamer by chance? RF tools. Nope. Oh, we never did this though. Let's go ahead and just turn this in. And we're going to get a Smart Wrench RF Tools Manual and RF Tools Control Manual. And Dimlet Parcel, we've done that. So we're going to get a free loot chest from that, which contains diorite. Okay, so we've got that out of the way. The teleporter frame, this is just refined obsidian and glowstone, um, which this is going to be liquid osmium ran through with uh, glowstone to get the, the glowstone ingots. And then refined obsidian is going to be the refined obsidian dust with that liquid osmium. Uh, which we can make this here with uh, just any kind of a, like crushed obsidian. Um, I think I've got some of that lying around. And one thing we are going to do is our enrichment chamber. We're going to go ahead and toss in like diamonds into this. And it's going to start basically compressing those and making this right here, compressed diamond, um, which is going to count for, I believe it's nine diamonds um, for each single diamond. So if we grab this out, for example, and we throw it into the metallurgic infuser, we get, oh, 80. So it counts for eight diamonds uh, each. And we do have some pulverized obsidian in here. So we're going to go ahead and toss this into the metallurgic infuser, whoops, in that slot. There we go. Had to find uh, our wireless energy crystal. Let's go ahead and grab this. Let's throw that in also. And I'll tell you what, while we're at it, let's go ahead and just do like another five of these. And then let's go ahead, let's throw in, um, we'll go ahead and throw in a bit of osmium and we'll throw in a bit of this glowstone. Well, really only, I only need like you. I'm going to go ahead and throw a bit more osmium because this is going to use quite a bit. There we go. There's a glowstone ingot which may complete a quest. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pop back over to mechanism. Grab our loot chest. At this point we can make osgo glass because it takes osmium, glowstone, and refined obsidian ingots. We will make some of this today because there is a gate for it uh, that we need to get past. So, and we'll just upgrade, I guess we'll upgrade this pickaxe. All right, but this obsidian is done. Do we want to go ahead and throw in, yeah, let's go ahead and do the rest of it. I'll go ahead and pull that out. Six of this will be fine. Okay, so there's that. And then to get our refined obsidian, that's just through the compressor as well. Well, I'm not sure if we could just melt it and then ingot form it, but compressors just as well, to be honest. So we'll go ahead and toss that in and get that running. Get as much of it as we can. And I want to go ahead and make a little bit of Osco glass. Just complete the gate. So we'll just throw these three in there and... Uh, and we'll give that just a little bit. The uh, the quest for Osgo glass is right here. Oh, they want us to make an Osgo glass sharpening kit. All right, but we do get eight atomic alloys, so that's definitely worth it. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our refined obsidian. Do that, and we're gonna get a teleporter frame from that. And we also got a purple crystal shulker box. And then to get the, let's see, we're going to need a dragon heart. We're going to need intricate circuit boards and a teleporter. Let's go ahead and do the teleporter first, get this out of the way. Um, so this is going to take two atomic alloy and the rest just random junk. Um, and for this, we're going to need some refined obsidian and reinforced alloy uh, for that, which I think I've got some reinforced alloy lying around. Let's see if I can find it. If not, I can make some. It's not a big deal. Though, no, actually, there's our... Osgo glass. We don't even really need to make the alloy for this, to be honest. Now that I think about it, we'll go ahead and grab that. And to turn this into a sharpening kit, though, I need to dump it back in. Oh, but um, 
Let me pop back over. I'm actually going to need for the uh, Osgo glass sharpening kit, I'm going to need two Osgo glass, not one. So let me pop back over. And let me go ahead and actually grab like eight of this out. We're going to go ahead and just run this through the enrichment chamber because I need to get some um, refined obsidian also. But there's our reinforced alloy. I'm going to go ahead and just dump that and. Then let me get this atomic alloy going. There we go. And I think that completes a quest. Maybe not. Uh, no, but we did complete the Osgo glass quest. The atomic alloy. Oh, we need to make compressed uh, redstone. Okay. Let me just, let me pull that out for just a minute just so we can finish this quest off. And we're gonna get a rail gun. And our Osgo glass is done. Let me go ahead and just pour that out. Um, I don't plan on actually using this for anything. I don't think the sharpening kit because um, fact is I haven't really encountered anything I need to break with uh, Osgo glass. And I think the stuff that comes after it's honestly even easier to make. So there we go. That quest is done. And we're going to throw that in and just melt it back down because we don't want that. And... Uh, We'll turn it back into ingots. We're going to use that lighter today anyways, or lighter in this project. But we're going to get eight atomic alloy from that quest. And then next up, yeah, Enderium. Um, it's super, super cheap. All right, let me pop back over to the power building. Let me grab this out, get that running again. I think this is going to chain react complete quite a few quests. Yep, there's four quests done. There we go. And we're going to get titanium coin, 64 of them, um, just for using to make power. Um, Southern style breakfasts, eight of them. Um, auxiliary reception coils, four of those, and a diamond chisel. There we go. We'll toss that in there. And then let me get our atomic alloy out. We've got 31 of that. And then to get the, um, well, the teleportation core, that's two gold, diamond, four lapis. There is our teleportation core. And there is our teleport. Okay, so that part's done. And then we just need the intricate circuit board. And for this, the ultimate control circuit is going to be four atomic alloy with an elite control circuit in the middle. Okay. And then we're going to take that with our four atomic alloys around it. Correct. I think I need to space them out one more block. Uh, yeah, that's what I need to do. Okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. These need to come out two blocks from that then. And then we'll load this up. There we go. And that's going to run. It's going to take just a second. Actually, I think it's going to take quite a bit of power, though. Um, because I believe making it through here... Yeah, it's 2 million RF through there. So it's probably the same uh, 2 million FE. I mean, yeah, FE here. Um, as well, so yeah, it's gonna take a bit of power. There we go There is our first ultimate control circuit, which can now be replicated for only 15 millibuckets of you matter awesome <laughs> So let's go ahead and grab that There is our reinforcement modifiers three of those All right, I'm gonna go scan this Not even about to use this to craft and we'll give that just a second now the Dragon Heart, of course, is easy. The intricate circuit boards. I'm going to need four of these ultimate control circuits. I'm probably just going to mass produce these things. Um, we're going to need basic, enhanced, and refined circuit boards. Um, which, for some reason, all say that they take one. <laughs> uh, for basic, enhanced, refined. Okay. Okay, let me just take our pipette and pull out all the seed oil from this. And let me get a bucket of water. I think it's, yeah, it's a thousand millibuckets each. That's fine. 
we go ahead toss that in we're gonna get the basic one okay and then we're gonna need these control circuits there and there and then at this point I'm gonna have to make an inscriber um, because we have not made one of these yet but they are super cheap for us at this point um, yeah okay so let's go ahead and make our very first fluix so we're gonna toss in nether quartz charge sardis and redstone I'm doing a stack of each and we'll go ahead and get that turned into fluix for us there we go unnatural and we'll go ahead and get our fluix block um, what's the gate is there a gate for a2 have we already unlocked it or what a2 they oh they want us to make an ME controller okay we'll be we'll be attacking that before too long and that all leads in okay into draconic that is fine we're not gonna be messing with that for this project so there's our inscriber okay and I don't have an engineering press for the inscriber so we're gonna have to set off in search of a meteor somehow I don't have one I have a bunch of the others but I don't have that one and this is probably why I wasn't looting the presses <laughs> whenever I was looting the meteors so there we go um, I guess I thought I had them all and I didn't probably the case because usually I won't loot, loot more than one but um, anywho I need engineering circuits so let's get these there we go this won't plug up to it uh, or this won't plug up to it the wireless system it won't do it but um, let me see though because I think oh no it disconnected itself okay cool and there we go there's that and then we'll just put this into the carpenter there we go and then to make this we also need a thousand millibuckets of water each oh this is each and I'm gonna need two okay <laughs> I don't believe that we can scan this okay there's one intricate circuit board I'm just gonna need to get basically this part more than anything um, the rest of this is all pretty quick okay so intricate circuit board there you go get that running there's that and then now that we've got those uh, we just need the dragon hearts and that is perfectly fine we've got plenty of those and there is our quantum entangler portal which is gonna complete a quest there we go and from that quest we are going to get and now technically we could just get a second one of these and move power that way but flux networks are so close at this point there's not a whole lot of point in that I don't think uh, we get another diamond chisel um, I mean this has some added benefits like it can send autumns and things like that gases but flux networks is what we really need because I just need the wireless power transfer not so much the the rest of it uh, truth be told okay so now that we've got that um, at this point we're on the back end of this though it is a, it is a pretty good push that we have to do we have to get the dimensional transceiver um, let me go ahead actually this is gonna be our our crafting station where we work up to this the electrical steel block this shouldn't be too bad, I don't imagine. Alloy furnace, uh, silicon with steel. Okay, so we're gonna go sand to the manufactory for that. Uh, let me go ahead and just grab a bit of this. And I'm gonna go ahead and run four stacks of this. There we go. That's gonna start making our silicon for us. And then we'll easily be able to take care of the electrical steel. Now the, the rest of this though, um, is where things will get a little bit more interesting the we're gonna have to get the soul binder we're gonna have to get the slice and splice we're gonna have to get well these aren't too bad these aren't too bad and this part a little bit involved because we are gonna have to do this not too bad um, 
let me go ahead also and let's see we're also going to need the sag meal simple sag meal would work um, but very first thing we need to do is just make some simple machine chassis because all that we really have left is ender io kind of and extended crafting uh, so infinity bimetal um, we're gonna have to get grains of infinity iron and iron nuggets super easy how many simple machine chassis are we really going to need for this uh, slice and splice soul machine comes from a simple machine so that's one that's like three is all we're really gonna have to do um, so in that case let me get um, uh, let's say let's go get uh, something like fires with oh we've actually got 49 grains of infinity already so let me just get six of those. Okay, so there's our infinity bimetal gears. There we go. And then we're gonna need dark iron bars. We're gonna need hardened cell frame. Uh, this we're gonna need the empower for, and we're gonna have to get energy cell frames, which is just machine frames. Uh, we haven't done this push yet, and this is one gate that we do need to get out of the way, which is the thermal expansion gate. Really all we need from thermal expansion is to have thermal expansion and then we can move on to ender IO part. Um, so for the machine frame we're going to need four anore crystals, iron casing, heavy uh, engineering block, machine frame, machine case, and device frame. Device frame being the only thing that we're actually going to have to craft which is just tin, copper, and glass. And then as soon as we get this we can scan it. So, Alright so there's our device frame. So for this Go ahead and set that up. We're going to need that. We are going to need the four Anori. And then the machine frame, the iron casing, machine case, and heavy engineering block. Okay. I think I had some of those. But maybe not. I'm just going to go replicate them. And let me go ahead and just put that recipe in like that. And then let me go get some glass. You know, it, it was this way before uh, with this pack, and it's like as long as you do a, uh, um, IC2, like it's cakewalk. Absolute cakewalk. Um, how much glass do we actually need for this? 6,000 mil buckets. Okay. There you go. And there is our machine frames. And we got a quest complete. We get a machine frame, signal and upgrade kit, and a, compression, a basic compression dynamo and environmental tech oh yeah because we do have oh and these can re be replicated Ooh. wait a second we got these from my uh chest a bit back yeah buddy i'm gonna go uh i'm gonna go scan this because we can easily replicate this and start into environmental tech before too long also but first i'm gonna scan the machine frame before i forget we'll get to the light the right crystal all right, so there's the machine frame, and now if we go back over the simple machine frame, um, we're gonna have to get up to the hardened cell frame. Um, this is gonna be Invar plates, and we're gonna have to get this too. This is uh, 400 redstone, makes us the energy cell frame, and I'm gonna need three of these. So I'm gonna have to wait for that one to get scanned, but that's fine. Um, so metallurgic infuser for this and we're gonna need a bit more redstone I think I've got yeah I've got a little bit but still not gonna be enough I'm just gonna get this going um, it'll take a minute to get that made up um, but we're also gonna need three invar plates three invar gears three steel rods and three steel casings okay so um, go ahead and throw a bit of that in there I think it was 400 even but we got our Invar plates, steel rods, uh, the casings, I made a bit too many of those, but it's not a big deal. That, that, and let me go ahead and, uh, well that we'll get to, I'm not going to pop that reward just yet, but down at the thermal expansion, I'm going to go ahead and turn that in. And yeah, we've gotten an energy cell frame and we've gotten these upgrades so far. These things take a lot of power, don't they? Uh, yeah, 10 million RF. Okay, so that's going to take a minute. 
Well, while we wait, let me go ahead and turn in a few of these quests. We got random animal eggs, eight of them. We got cave illuminator, two of those. And we got speed upgrades from mechanism, eight of those. Those will come in handy, actually. Um, honestly, well, I'll wait because I don't need too much more mechanism at this point. Just kind of plowing through a lot of this stuff. And then we get a crescent hammer, a multimeter, and a red print. And we have begun the thermal expansion quest line. Um, oh, and this is done. Our very first hardened cell frame. Awesome. Not super cheap, but we're going to go ahead and get another one running. Um, and then we also get a loot chest here. And we get walnut door. Now that's getting crafted out. The dark steel we should be able to just make in the alloy furnace. Obsidian and steel, not a problem. Titanium alumide, um, it's a little bit more effort, but it's not too bad. Um, let me go ahead... Let me go ahead and get some dark still being made. And yeah, the silicon is done, so I do need to get that running also. Um, that was to make the electrical steel. Uh, that was steel and silicon. Okay. And I'm going to need 36 of it for what we're working on making. Okay, so this is probably done. There's our dark steel. And this is going to take a little bit to run, which is fine. But I'm going to go ahead and get 36 electrical steel being ran. And then back over to the power building. Oh, that's still going. That's fine. That is fine. Let's go ahead and get our dark, our dark iron bars. And then we are also... Okay, this one's done. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this out. And we'll get the last one of those being ran. Okay. I don't believe the simple machine chassis we can replicate. So we may be able to. I may have made three of these for no reason. But I don't think that we can. Um, okay. So to make the titanium alumide ingots. Um, this is titanium with aluminum. And we can obtain this through the Advanced Metallurgic Fabricator. And this is where we're going to need to get chlorine. We're going to have to make, we're going to have to get brine, basically. It's just salt, magnesium ore, and carbon plates. All of this is super easy for us to make. But the liquid chlorine, condensate, um, regular chlorine, which is made, electrolytic separator, sodium chlorine, and brine. Um, basically, we're going to start making brine, um, which is the thermal evaporator. Um, that we're going to have to get set up. So for this, it's not too bad, but we do have a little bit of work ahead of us. The thermal evaporation blocks are just steel and copper to get four of those. Um, I don't necessarily need a huge one for this. Let's go ahead and grab a bit of copper and steel. And let me go ahead and pull up thermal evaporation. Um, we're going to need these also. Um, really just two of them. Um, let's go ahead and get ourselves, say, 32 to start with, and we'll see where that gets us to. And then do I have... I do have two advanced control circuits. That's great. Let me go ahead and get that. And then for the controller, we're going to need five of those. We're going to need an ultimate fluid tank. Um, yeah, this is just going to be a bunch of alloys with a basic fluid tank. Um, and then we're just going to need glass panes and ultimate control circuits, which we've got those. That's not a problem for us. It's funny, when you start pushing, um, you know, a lot of the stuff in this pack, you really notice how cheap everything really is. It's just kind of just knocking through it at this point. We're really not having a whole lot of difficulty with anything. And we're going to be pushing towards, like, pretty late game stuff. Um, the flux networks, you know. Um, is this, yeah, that's iron for each tier, that's fine, there's that, there is that, there's our ultimate fluid tank, and then I've got to get some glass panes real quick, 
Um, and then we'll go ahead and get our thermal evaporation. Grab two of those. Thermal evaporation controller. There we go. That's everything that we really need for this. And, oh, there is a quest for this, but we're not going to complete it. What did we complete from Astral Sorcerer? Cave Illuminators. Okay. Um, we're not going to complete it because we haven't made steel and stuff through this yet. We will later. I'm not... Or no, it's not that. It's this. What am I missing? They want us to get 37 of these. Okay, we might as well go ahead and do it. What do I get from this quest? Liquid fueled engine. Eight of them. Okay. Yeah, we'll be going to space before too long, I suppose. Go ahead. One more craft. There we go. Quest complete. And we're going to get a loot chest from that, which has charged quartz fixtures. 16 of those. It would be faster in a desert. Well, I don't think speed really matters. We don't need it for much. So I'm just going to set it up right here. We will make a more permanent setup for this before too long. Um, because I am going to want brine. Because we're going to start pushing into, probably into orc when toppling and stuff. Ooh, I'm not going to be able to go up that high. Um, three tall, I think, is going to be the most that we're really going to be able to pull off at the moment. We can cut off those corner bits, put our controller in right there, and we're going to put our valve in, let's see, one goes in here, and one will go in right here, and yeah, I got to fill in the corners, my bad. Okay, so that's going to start heating up. Now I'm going to need uh, infinite water source, I'm just going to grab this one, and we're going to set that up right there. So that's going to start pumping water into this, and it's going to start turning that into brine. There we go. You know, it's that easy. Um, and then we're going to have to do this whole um, song and dance part for, um, basically for making chlorine. Um, we're going to have to get an electrolytic separator. Yeah, this is pretty easy, but we're all going to have to get pulverized iron, gold, osmium, and let's grab these. Okay, let me pop over. Oh, and this is done. We have all three of these that we're going to name. Okay, so there is our electrolytic core. And, oh, one second. There is our electrolytic separator. And then we're going to set this up. Um, set it up here. And just grab two of these. We're going to go ahead and just pull out liquid from there and insert it. Brine's going into the electrolytic separator and then what we can do is just plug this up with our wireless power and that's going to start making sodium and chlorine. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, well I'm going to leave this as is for right now um, because we actually don't need, I don't think a ton of this but our titanium ingot. Um, we're going to have to get liquid chlorine. So we're going to have to condensate our regular chlorine. And to do this um, we're going to need basic fluid tank, basic gas tank, and then this stuff. Okay, this is all pretty easy. Okay, so there's our rotary condensator. And we're going to set this up um, basically right there. It's going to start pulling in the chlorine we're going to go ahead and give it power, and it's going to start making liquid chlorine for us. There's that. And then to actually make our ingots, we're going to need 500 millibuckets of liquid chlorine. I'm going to go ahead and set the sodium side to dump excess. So whenever it caps out on sodium, it's not going to back up our system. Because I'm going to need to leave this running for a bit, I think. Now, for the advanced metallurgic fabricator, because um, the rest of this stuff is all pretty straightforward, um, to actually make this... we're going to need this list of things. We're going to have to get mutagen and we're going to start getting into modular machines, which uh, what does it take to make oh, we're going to have to get an ME controller for this. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't think this is too bad because that's, yeah, that's pretty easy. This is super cheap. The modularium um we're going to have to get a red... I can replicate that. I've got some. And then for the modularium, we're going to have to get platinum. 
pulsating crystals and empowered palace. Empowered palace is dense lapis, sapphire, congealed slime, cobalt. Okay. Um, give me a second though. I'm gonna see how much time we have left, and then we may have to cut and pick this back up next episode. Okay, I've been working on, while I was editing down footage, I've been working on kind of reorganizing, moving things around and getting things set up. Um, so our wireless energy crystal is right here. The old one is still setting here, but uh, of course we had four of these. And I went ahead and moved all of these. I set us up a tank. So right now we have almost 23 buckets of liquid chlorine. Uh, and then our mechanism machines and just our crafting and stuff. And our empower is set up over here. Now, one thing we're going to do real quick is I want to start making uh, pallies. I need the sapphire and the cobalt. I put it up on accident. What I want to do is we're going to go ahead and set up our lapis there. There we go. There's our 10 uh, pallies crystal blocks. So what I want to do is uh, this is just kind of a quick, easy setup for this because we are going to have to run a bit through the empower. Um, we're going to put our pallies crystals there our dense lapis, our congealed slime, our cobalt, and our sapphires. And it's gonna start running these as blocks. Of course, I'm doing blocks because, you know, it's a whole lot more, it's a lot more efficient than doing singles. Um, so we're gonna start running ourselves a bunch of empowered pallies. And then it's gonna pull it off, it's gonna pull it out down into here when it finishes. Let me go ahead and grab that, and oh, and I actually put another thing up that I needed. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to make our very first modularium. So we're going to turn this into empowered pallies. Um, I need to turn these into nuggets and make us some pulsating crystals. And let me go ahead and just make a bit more because realistically I'm going to need it. Um, and then we're going to make, uh, oh, electrical steel. Let me just steal this for right now. i got to run some more of that. So there is that. And there is our very first bits of modularium. Now, once we get the uh, metallurgic fabricator made, we'll be able to make modularium a bit cheaper. Um, and, of course, that's the machine that we're working on making to make the titanium. Um, but to do that, um, I actually went through and I looked and I wrote down a list of everything that we're going to need. We're going to need machine controller, um, either nine hardened mana infused glass, or we can replace that with modularium blocks. It just takes the mana infused, which I think I can get that in the Twilight Forest. No, Uranus Kelp 4AB, or if Nether Mithril. But it's not showing up as if they spawn, so I think... I'll, I'll take a look around the nether and stuff, but I think what I'm going to have to do is uh, go with the modularium at first until we go into space. Um, but you can replace it with uh, the modularium blocks, so it's not a big deal. Um, and then we're going to need some mutagen, which we'll do at the beginning of next episode. We're going to need 16, so technically 25 uh, machine casings, the modularium machine casings. And then we're going to need... Um, Normal fluid in, energy in, item in, item out, four machine vents, two machine circuits, and six blocks of fiery. Now most of the stuff, I'm just going to start getting this stuff together between episodes because most of it is just basic crafts. Um, this is all super straightforward for us. We're going to have to get these, which I can replicate redstone engineering blocks, so it's not a big deal for making those. Um, and then you can see right here the item outputs. Once again, just standard craft junk. This right here, standard craft junk. And this right here, standard craft junk. Oh no, I'm sorry. We're looking for the energy in, but it's still standard craft junk. Um, so I'm gonna start getting some of this stuff prepped up. The machine vents are overclocked heat vents, turbine vents, turbine casings are Inori and iron casings for 32. Fission reactor, I think we've crafted this before, uh, super cheap. And then the machine circuitry is this right here. I'm gonna have to make another one of these, not a big deal. Um, and I need two of these. So it's not, not all that bad. Now the fiery blocks, we have not done Twilight Forest yet in this series, so we might do a quick rush next episode, knock out a little bit of Twilight Forest. 
and we're going to get our machine fabricator set up next episode uh, quickly get our mutagen stuff then we'll get our titanium start pushing into ender io it's either going to be next episode or depending on how long we spend in the twilight force it should be fairly quick because we're just going to bum rush through it and i'm just going to show you the bosses but depending next episode we may get our flux networks up and going so it might be a little bit of a longer episode, but that's what I'm going to try to push for next episode. Because really all we have to do is get this set up, get Ender I.O. set up, and just get some very small miscellaneous stuff done. Um, which really isn't too bad. We're going to have to do a little bit of extended crafting. It's nothing major um, before we can push into Flux Networks. And then once we get our first little bit, like our first dimensional transceiver and sag mill it down, after that it's actually super cheap to continue with flux networks because then you just duplicate them and it really just costs redstone to do flux networks it's just your first batch of the stuff is super expensive one thing I do want to show you though is uh, down here um, I don't have very much platinum because I usually don't mine at bedrock and that's where it spawns is down here around bedrock but I did set up our scanner uh, to find platinum so you can see I mean it's fairly common um, but I am going to have to farm a bit of platinum. Um, I'm going to have to farm a bit of this between episodes. So, um, because we just don't really have any at the moment. But uh, I might just vein mine out. Um, I also need to get uranium. And I, honestly, I need to farm up a bit of things. Uh, diamonds too, because I am starting to get low on diamonds. Um, so I'm probably going to do a bit of mining between episodes, but I just want to show you um, Scanner, of course, great for finding um, this stuff. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys for next episode. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys then.